Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to our channel of fun science demonstrations. Have you ever been driving in a car going up a mountain or flying on a plane and the insides of your ears felt weird? It's almost like a popped inside. Well, what's going on with that? Well, that's the big idea today. Through science, we've discovered that there's lots of air surrounding our planet, held in place by gravity, and that air is pushing down on us from all directions, and that pushing down creates pressure. Scientists like to measure that pressure with an instrument or a tool called a barometer. And we are actually going to make our own barometer right now. We only need a few simple materials to make our barometer. It's super kid friendly. A scissors, a balloon, some kind of firm rigid container that will hold up so that I can stretch the balloon over top. Uh, a flat toothpick works best, or a straw, or anything that I could attach to the top of the balloon, and a little bit of glue to hold my pointer there. Here's what everything's going to look like when we're finished. This jar here is my barometer. I have my balloon stretched over top. My little pointer is glued to the top, and that pointer is going to move up and down as the pressure changes. How do I mark those changes? Well, that's what this bottle's for. I'm going to put little marks as that pointer moves up and down, so I can keep track of the air pressure. I don't really need blue water or any water in this bottle. I filled it with water so it could be a little more sturdy and heavier. And I use blue because blue's cool. So now let's make our own. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting the bottom part of this balloon off and I want to make sure I'm careful. You might want to have adult supervision, but, but a simple cut is all we need. Next I'm going to stretch my balloon over top of my container and snap it into place. Now when you do this you might find that the balloon sort of loosens up and that's okay. If you get a rubber band, stretch the rubber band around your container. What you can do is tug on the balloon and get everything nice and tight. Now I have a little membrane or a piece of rubber in this case latex balloon that's going to measure my air pressure. You know what this actually is kind of like? It's kind of like the inside of my ears. I have this little film membrane inside my ears that actually responds to air pressure pushing them. Now you can use pretty much anything for a pointer. I've seen lots of straws and I've made them with straws and pins and all kinds of things. I found that the flat toothpick works really well for this design. So what I need to do is attach my flat toothpick to my balloon. I'm just going to use a small little dab of glue. Now, that's a big dab of glue, so how do I fix that problem or that mistake? So I'm going to take another flat toothpick, and I'm just going to take some of that glue off. Sometimes science is messy. I can even use my finger, and all I want is just a little bit of glue. That's all I need. And now I can attach my toothpick. I have to let it dry and then my barometer is ready to go. Take a look at the barometer I made before. When I made this barometer, my toothpick was lined up with that mark. Well, now my pointer has moved up. Well, what made it move? Well, all the air has added pressure and it's pushing down on the balloon. And if you look carefully, the top of this balloon is actually flexed in, which makes my pointer move up. And if it's reversed, if the pressure is not as heavy or as high, my balloon will actually bulge out, which will make my pointer go down. Air pressure at work. So we've made a little working model so you can see how the barometer actually works in real time. This model works pretty simply. I have my little tiny barometer inside with a balloon stretched across the top. And this contraption is just a little plastic container that I stretched the balloon over. I left the bottom part of the balloon there so I can tug on it. And I can increase the pressure inside this jar by grabbing here and pushing down. And I can decrease the pressure by pulling up. Kind of like our giant Earth. So here's how this works. I push in to increase the pressure, I pull up to decrease the pressure. Now let's zoom in and take a closer look at my barometer and see what it's doing while I'm pushing in and pulling up. So let's start playing around with the pressure. I'm going to push in, increase pressure, pull up, 
decrease the pressure. Push in, increase the pressure, pull up, decrease the pressure. In, up. High pressure, low pressure. High pressure, low pressure. High pressure, low pressure. So what's the big deal with all this air pressure? Well, scientists like to measure air pressure because it actually tells us what the weather's going to be like. If it's an area of high pressure, scientists have discovered that the weather typically is pretty nice. But if it's an area of low pressure, the weather can be pretty lousy, rainy, stormy. If you want to learn more about weather or weather instruments, check out our links in the video description. Weather is so cool, sometimes it's warm. Thanks for watching.